Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to the sportiest stream. My name is Sporty FC. It's great to see you all here tonight. And welcome to oh, I accidentally muted myself. What I meant to say is we have three matches scheduled in the past like hour or so we got these three matches. All on. It's Acid Raiden versus Midwest Mafia Elite. OUG Abstract Team Evo Academy. And next two new Nomads. Taking on 100x Panda. Three matches here tonight. And these first two actually have some ATS implications on them. Not that. Uh, and mostly due to the fact that these teams are actually in the a uh, ATS uh, Cups. And the Ascend Tournament Series Cups. Obviously, these are show matches, though. So they do not count towards the uh, rankings and the scorelines there. But still, some very. Uh, fun matches. Let's see some of these teams. How are they going to play? Especially starting off this season. Our first matchup here. Acid Rain taking on Midwest Mafia Elite. This is you know, an Ascension Cup showcase here. Both these teams are the Ascension Cup there. But again, this is week one actually as well of Ascension. So these, both these teams trying to get as much practice as they can before they have to play their first match against their team. Uh, which, you know, not, never a, a fun thing. You know, to not come to a match without some practice so they're gonna get used to this kind of skill level what it's like for acid rain their first match is against team sky for midwest mafia elite they play against zenith uh, esports is vapid and getting practice those are not easy opponents there's no such thing as easy opponents uh at the, at the beginning of the season part of the season there's no such thing as easy opponents in any match in any week uh but these sides especially kind of getting into this you want to be as good as you can We've seen this Midwest Mafia organization on the stream before. I think the last time was for a different Midwest team. I know this one's a little different because it's both Team Rome's team and it's a newer team, but last time we saw it was uh, Midwest Mafia Soul as well as the Midwest Mafia main team, both of them have been on the stream before. This is again both Team Rome's team, as I mentioned. A little different. Since the last time we saw Team Rome was for uh, Team Yeah. In two dude, last time I saw Ultimate Roman 3s, I think was on the Alpha Females back in ATS Ascension Cup Season 0. Obviously getting ready for Season 1. One of the uh, many players returning this season. I saw for Asari and my Spiffy, Papone Master, and uh, Henry are here tonight. As Speaking of Spiffy, welcome in Spiffy, thank you for the follow. Welcome to this buddy's stream, we'll be... Uh, good luck in your match, we'll be getting to it shortly here. This is a, uh, a best of seven and... As soon as this match is over, we're going right to our Apex Cup showcase, which is OUG Abstract, which is Team Evo Academy. We'll we'll see how much how fast this match will go. Hopefully we won't have to delay that second match. I know it's a possibility though, with it being a best of seven and only having an hour of time. The uh, a good series nonetheless. Yeah, now yeah, yeah, that's an again, our match will be an Apex Cup showcase. It's an Ascension Cup. This one though, from Champ One to Champ Three is Hello Henry. Oh, anyway, thank you for the follow yesterday, Henry. Uh, after the end of the stream, welcome in. As there you go, drink break. We got, we got uh, lemonade, the usual. Again, again, it's such a cup. Champ one to champ three. The Apex Cup is GC one, GC two. Of course. Oh, so wait and see. All these matches will kind of fit together. Again, there's those, and then obviously later tonight we'll have our uh, beginning of the RLSS here in the Riptide Cup with Hunter X Panda, another actually, another Ascension Cup team. You know, next two new Nomads. I need to get things sorted out and ready to go. These teams should be here any moment. But again, this is a Nice match for them because it's going to be a lot less stressful uh, than any regular season matches. Again, it's it's practice for these teams. So for them, this actually is going to be a really good match just to practice, to get used to the situation they're in, to get used to each other. Because once you're in the regular season, you don't have that time to practice anymore. you got to play well. And, well, you might as well set yourself up for a success here. Yeah, as Acid Rain, but the Rain Esports Org that we actually have never seen on the stream before. Obviously, again, Midwest Mafia Elite of Midwest Mafia. A ton of Orgs playing tonight. I mean, our uh, next match again will be Team Evo and One Up, and One Up Gaming. After that, we'll have 135 Esports. 
um, as well as next to new esports. A fun list of work we got here tonight. For now, again, being on uh, MM Elite. You're gonna hear me call him MM Elite, Midwest Mafia. That is weird because we have now two MM works. We have Milky Militia and Midwest Mafia. They both go by MM. Uh, but we were gonna again, especially with it being Boltini Rome's uh, team. Last time again, she was on Alpha Females. It was a team that struggled during the regular season a lot. And uh, again, her most recent team for any league was probably the Skyward series on uh, team. Yeah, with the an old vector they could not get out of the wild card for that one so for them for her that season is over and for freeze i believe her season is also already over as well she was on new age i forgot she was on new age actually for the uh, that was her last review team was new age so yeah new age dragons they're actually still in they're playing against astral luna later tonight actually i heard that they were just trying to sort out their match so potentially she might be playing at championship a big match it would be if she can get herself there it'd be a top eight performance for a player that is a good many of them in that in that league where ats it's a little different it's not been so successful uh, with her first run at it as a master thank you for the follow welcome in Papone master good luck in your matchup here but of acid rain You know, just looking to get uh, M Elite in the lobby as soon as we can. Set up this best of seven. Again, I'm excited. This is kind of our first major showcases of these two teams. Of really, again, a lot of ATS stuff. And I know we've had already had some ATS matches being played, and we're going to have some more play tonight, tomorrow. Throughout the week, we're going to have tons of matches, but. Again, kind of a fun showcase of. This next iteration of this league again, the Ascension Cup Season 1, Apex Cup Season 1. This is a interesting ser uh, series for both these sides. We are just waiting on uh, Midwest Mafia to join here any moment. Hoping that they're, again, they're not too late because, again, we have a match in an hour, which will be another best of seven show match. Um, with any luck, we could probably transition straight from this one to the next one. That might be a, might be a really nice way to kind of segue ourselves to that second series of the night. But for now, again, we're, we're at the very least, we'll just see how this match goes. The Ascension Cup uh, match up here. Again, it is all best of seven. Not really much else I can say about these two teams, just we're going to see how they play tonight. I, again, I've seen Boltini Rome before, I've actually seen a good amount of that man, Midwest Mafia side, because pretty much a Panda, Asteria, and Asteria, and, and Twins, and, and Asteria, and, uh, well, actually there's two Pandas, you know, it's a little bit crazy. This is the Panda uh, that from that uh, from last season that was on, I believe it was Evolve, and it was, it was the one who was on Evolve last season, and was, uh, I'm trying to find a sub right now. Oh dear. Uh, I don't. If that means we have to cancel, I'm not. Uh, that would not be fun. I don't like that. Um, I do need to be notified who that sub's going to be. We can work with that. Um, just fine. Not a, that's not a good thing when one of your players just doesn't respond. Um, I'm hoping we don't have to like skip this match, uh, because again we have another match in an hour, so I really need to have all players in as soon as possible. No, this might have been a mistake. Um, I'm hoping it won't be. But if they don't find a sub soon, we're gonna have to just have to skip this match. I don't want to do that. So let's hope let's hope that Boltini will find a, uh, a replacement player. Probably uh, someone that might actually play, just <laughs> ask some of her friends on New Age, uh, because again, she plays on the New Age Dragons with Reese as well. So that would be. That might, be a nice, that might not be a bad team to, you know, ask for help getting some players in. Let's see how it goes. Okay. 
and um we'll give her probably two more minutes if if they uh again we'll give them a, like two more minutes i think see how things are going i'm hoping do find someone well th thank you for the follow demonic let me go you know uh are they going to free play okay that's fine so spiffy is gonna have his players go out for a little bit um okay let me see it Let me go message to them. Um, again, hopefully we'll. I mean, I'll give them a little bit more time, though. We'll we'll give that Midrus Mafia side a little bit more time, and hopefully. Hopefully we'll we'll get them in for a full series. Um, sounds like they did find someone. Which, that's a good thing. That means we can get the series going. Oh boy. Well, uh, you can't have these show matches without chaos, can't you? Um, at least, at least we've got confirmation that someone will be here. Again, Acid Rain, part of Rain Esports, Midwest Mafia, Elite of Midwest Mafia. And then some pretty, I think, I, I don't know how new Rain is, but Rain's definitely an org I haven't seen before. Midwest Mafia is a pretty new org. They haven't been around for very long, so. Uh, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what this org does, because it's it's a new org, but they've got a good couple teams here. I know they've got two in the Ascension Cup. For, again, Rain is their only, I think this is the only team that they have. I'm them in the Ascension. Or in Apex, so. Definitely some newer orgs on the, uh, for this stream, but. Again, orcs come and go. We've seen a ton of orcs in the past that aren't around anymore, and we're going to see a ton more orcs in the future that are still not even created. This is how Rocket League works after all this amateur scene. But uh, we are five minutes past. I did say that uh, this is probably about the limit I can go. Still waiting. We'll see how. Uh, we'll see if they are okay with getting in here. But yeah, it doesn't sound like they found someone. It, it, I got met, met, uh, told that they did find someone, so... I'm hoping they aren't, like, delayed or anything, because if they're late, this is going to make things... Re Actually, you know what? What's happening? I'm going to preemptively let my next series know I might be a little late. I'm gonna let them know it's another show match though, again. It's another show match, so they're probably fine with waiting, but I'll ask. I'll let them know anyways. But, um, we'll we'll see. Um, what happens here? But I'm hoping they are in as it's be Redwater, Wilson Rome, and Twins. By the looks of it, that will be on MM Elite here. So Redwater being that substitute, they are in. If I had to step in, it would have been bad. Yeah, don't blame you. Don't worry, they found someone, though. They got someone in. A, someone in for this best of seven, our first match of the night here. Again, our ATS showcase. On one side is Acid Rain, on the other, Midwest Mafia Elite. A best of seven here. We're going to have two of these best of sevens in a row. And both these sides, part of the Ascension Cup. First time we've seen these iterations on the stream, and we'll see how they fare against each other. Already a great start for Acid Rain. Some immediate chaos thrown in front, and only nine seconds going by. It's going to be Papone Master with goal number one. Acid Rain with a great start. I love this early, uh, you know, forced chaos here. Midwest Mafia leads, uh, knowing Boltini Rome, she doesn't do well. When it comes to chaotic play styles. I don't know how uh, Twins or Redwater will deal with it, but we're going to have to get used to it because there's so many teams at the Ascension Cup level that love this kind of style. They love to cause havoc on that back end of the field. 
We're going to do it a lot, that's for sure. And Raspberry, and if it works for them, they're just going to continue doing it. As I demo from Spiffy, but Bone Master, the dribble, up goes Henry, looking for the second. Can't find the shot, but Spiffy, and that was going in. A Bone Master saved his own teammate's shots. For Acid Rain, just a beautiful start from the side. They have not stopped ever since that first goal. Here comes another chance. That one hit wide by Spiffy. It's Midwest Mafia. We'll clear it away, but pressure still mounting. Boltini up to the sidewall. Bone Master clears it down the field. This one just wide, but it hits the post. Acid Rain getting closer and closer, just putting it in the back of the head here. And Midwest Mafia. I have not seen the light of offense just yet. Maybe this is their chance though. Henry, he's interestingly drilling it in front of his own net. His own teammates had to, I think, question what he was doing there. Midwest Mafia still holding the ball. Look for a pass and feel, but I don't think it feels like this game has started to slow down a little bit. Still, I am incredibly impressed with Acid Rain. This such an early aggressive style. They're really coming in here. The first time on this stream, and they're really making it known that what this team can do. As here comes the shot! Henry's got a second goal for his team. And that, it doesn't get much easier than that one. A big clear from Pultini. Straight to Henry's front bumper. And the last addition to Astrovane, he came in, was expected to be their substitute. Now it seems like he's their starter. A lot of their matches from what I've seen around the league. Again, what an interesting story Henry, Henry has had. So far for Acid Rain as he looks for a third one there. The pass to Papone Master. Nearly caught it, but for Midwest Mafia. I'm on offense. How will they utilize it here? Acid Rain. I've been able to control the game so far as Henry. A beautiful, beautiful air dribble. The mechanics of Acid Rain. Definitely not a surprise here, I think, for a lot of teams. See this kind of play. Again, you, you expect the team to so chaotic, so offensively minded. And uh, to just, you know, continue to have those mechanics. Showing up, you know, not afraid to use them. And right now, Acid Rain's doing it! As Spiffy's gonna put in his team's third. This is a quick start here for Acid Rain. Not even halfway through game one, they've already got three goals. And Midwest Mafia Elite. And this is gonna be a long series for them. If there's anything they can do, maybe it's stop Acid Rain from scoring so much. Trying to try to slow this team down, because Acid Rain is just moving way faster right now. I mean, this confidence has to be a part of the reason why they're doing so well. Midwest Mafia, they've got to find some way to slow them down, because right now Acid Rain not stopping the offense, and they almost made it four on that play with Henry. Boltini bumped out. As Acid Rain now back on defense, and even on defense, it feels like this team... So fast, they want to get out as fast as possible. Not trying to slow the play down, although you need to be careful because they have to play up to Midwest Mafia's pace. Uh, whenever Midwest Mafia have the ball, and I just feel like sometimes Acid Rain kind of outplay themselves on that back line. It's such an easy thing to do when you want the play so fast. You start to do it just a little too much. So far, no issues. Midwest Mafia back on defense. He'll clear it away again. Every touch is so far. Midwest Mafia looking to try to get a quick one here. A sneaky play to offense against Acid Rain. Maybe a, you know, a, an odd man rush, but so far they have not got the opportunity as Redwater. Here comes Henry up to the sidewall. Boltini Rome. Donked Acid Rain. An open net to make it for. Henry's popped it in. And Acid Rain, a 4-0 lead, as Red Weezer in chat saying, what's the lore behind this matchup? The lore behind this matchup is, these two teams play in the same league. The, the Ascent Tournament Series Ascension Cup. Champ 1, the Champ 3 division. And well, and that league started only a few days ago. This week is its first week. of these teams trying to get practice against each other. So far, Acid Rain I brought a lot more offense to the table, but they might need to be careful here because Midwest Mafia are trying to find at least something to attack back with. Still, this play just seems to die out here. Acid Rain in full control. As Redwater 
the back wall. Miss from Spiffy. Oh, but a miss from Redwater, and that's gonna be Acid Rain the other way. Henry, looking for a flip reset. My goodness, Acid Rain still aren't uh, giving up on those mechanics. And Spiffy now looking for a double tap. And this is a high, this is a high level. Uh, it's on Acid Rain. They brought the offense, brought some insane mechanics to boot. And this Ascension Cup has only gotten better since its first season. And yes, I know it's a little weird that second season is only season one, but let's roll with it. Acid Rain. They're rolling it with it, though. Look at this play from them. It's beautiful. The pace, the mechanics, the offense is there. And there's nobody that's stopping them. As Henry's going to put in a hat trick. A 5 to 0 win. Midwest Mafia Elite completely pushed aside in this matchup. For a lot of you, hopefully, for you guys, you know, you're ex for a lot of you Acid Rain, uh, Rain fans, hopefully this is pretty good for you guys. This is a strong start. One game, it's it's such a quick um, play here. Acid Rain, wasting no time. Make sure they're on the board. Rain Esports team. Again, Rain is an org, by the way, if you didn't know. Rain is an org. And... Again, it's their first time on this stream, and just that is the kind of start you love to see from a, a side. Going into game number two. See if these teams can continue that kind of performance. Going right into game number two here. Well, these times have a little time to chat between each other. I actually have to have them start up soon. We're already 45 minutes away from our second match. We have very little time uh, to get this going. Of course, I did message both the teams for our next match to make, let them know that we might be a bit late for them. Hopefully, we won't be, but there's a chance. And I know with Azrain, they're actually going to eventually put us back on track if they win the series this dominantly. But again, that's only a game one performance. They've got to continue this. And while their offense still very you know, consistent. It feels like it's an offense that isn't going to stop doing what it's doing. Maybe the inconsistencies can come catch them. We didn't see it last game. You have to think a team at this level is going to have some inconsistent plays. Some options where they just don't look as strong. Some games where things don't fall up, uh, into the way they like it to. Acid Rain, when those games happen, and they be the ones that step up still. Right now, they look for it! Spiffy! Oh, nearly tucked it in. That was a brilliant shot up high. This Acid Rain side this is some incredible gameplay for the champ level that they are at. Got to continue it here. Henry off to the sidewall. Looking for the flick. Henry, the second touch. Won't read it. Spiffy with a dunk. That one will stay wide here as a bone master putting it back in. Acid rain. He gets some early offensive chances. The, the air dribble, flip reset from Henry. He's using it! Oh my goodness, Henry! There's no way this guy's just champ three. That's incredible. Oh my. Oh, that's, uh, that's the kind of thing you don't see even from Grand Champion 2s. And this guy's doing it at champ three. My goodness, Henry. I did, I did, I mean, I've been champ before, I've never seen a champ hit that before. This guy, uh, on a big stage, I mean, I guess to be fair, there's no real pressure on him. Even so, it's, a, you know, he's on stream, he's, you know, gotta show up, especially being a guy who's late addition to this Acid Rain team. He is, uh, looking to run away with this game. Acid Rain, considering their offensive run. And Spiffy, gonna leave it for Henry there. The sidewall looking for a bouncing field. Henry, the bump on Boltini. Looking in front. That one's going to be shot in. Papone Master makes it too. And just a beautiful shot at a beautiful time.
As uh, acid rain, oh, they're looking for another one. Spiffy, to make it free. Oh, this is an absolute rubbing right now. Midwest Mafia, is there anything you can do to stop acid rain? Oh, this is gotta be a rough matchup because this acid rain team's very high ranked. They're in that champ three level. In fact, actually, apparently, uh, of course, you know, we're getting told that uh, Henry is actually GC one and twos right now. So this guy. Quickly ranking up, he, when, he, when this team signed up, back when Henry was added, he was, in the, he was champ 3. Obviously, he's uh, improved a lot since then. As now, an infield pass from Papone Master. Geared by Twins, Henry. Getting it to the sidewall, Spiffy, the jump. Oh, what a touchdown field. Redwater will meet up with it. Midwest Mafia Elite. Just trying to stop the bleeding here. It's already free for Asheray. They're not even done yet. Looking for more goals from Midwest Mafia. Can they even get one? Maybe. Maybe not. We'll see how they do here. It's Henry looking for the clear. Midwest Mafia. I take their time, but Acid Rain is looking to rush them even more. You know, that last game special was pretty insane. They only scored four goals. They're nearing that amount already. We still have two minutes left. It's Henry. The dribble. It's around Twins. Now he's maybe looking for the corner. Midwest Mafia Elite. That is going to be... Uh, still just some... Real pressure here. Acid Rain, though, has stopped the, the scoring well. They've definitely slowed down a little bit. And uh, I think a lot of it has to do with Midwest Mafia challenging a little more aggressively. They're putting themselves in that play a little more often. It's a little more risky, but it's working for them right now. As I pinch up the back wall, Midwest Mafia and overcommit. And Acid Rain, again, really slowing this game down. It feels like at this point they're just playing to take this game here. Doesn't feel like they're really wanting to score anymore. They, uh, so many teams want to score so many early, but I think for them, they just want to get to that game three. They recognize that they're going to be the ones that take this game. They're going to put in a fourth, though. They're not completely done with the scoring, but Bone Master will put in his team's fourth. But even so, it feels like for Acid Rain, ready to go straight to game three. And to be fair, I can't blame them fully for it. You just hit it GC before this game? Yeah, I'm not surprised, Henry. You're pretty solid. <laughs> Although you shouldn't be messaging me during your match. Go play your match, man. Stop messaging me. Also, I have no problem if you hit GC1 before your match. You're fine. It's during the regular season. Team players don't get kicked if they hit GC1 in the regular season. Henry's king? I would say he's pretty solid right now. Dude's got some insane mechanics for a champ free GC1. And trust me, I see a good amount of that level on the stream. It's probably the most uh, common rank that I uh, that I see at this uh, on the stream. Maybe, it, you know, is between champ three and GC two. And Henry definitely fits in that rank. He's playing quite inc incredibly well. This is a high level performance from Henry. Still Midwest Mafia trying to get something they still haven't scored yet this series and I don't think they're going to start anytime soon here because Buffon Master wants to make it five in front Henry the dribble the slow down the shot and it's five to none it's the same score in his last game and this one just as embarrassing That, that should end game two here, as if those other four goals haven't. But for Acid Rain, it's another dominating performance. Still zero goals given up. That means game two ending just like that, just like how game one was. Quick and efficient. Nine shots to two. And for Midwest Mafia Elite, at this point for them... It's one of those matchups where there's not much you can do to stop a team. They're going to take their time between these. I don't blame them for that. Right now, Acid Rain, they're looking to uh, sweep this series and sweep it without even having a chance to lose.
that. That will definitely, uh, again, be Acid Rain. Again, what a start for this side. These guys are going to be probably one of the scariest teams in this season if they play like this. Against anyone, there's very few teams I think that can counter them. If Again, if they play just like that. The mechanical, high-paced, super aggressive side. Play style that, when executed well, it's impossible to stop it once it's on top. And, you know, Acid Rain have done that, but I think it's Mafia. They'll be jumping in here for game number three. As, uh, oh, wait a second. <laughs> They're gonna play with two for now. I don't know if that makes things easier for Midwest Mafia, but... In a moment, Twin's gonna be here as... <laughs> Redwater decided he's not willing to play. They're gonna go to 2v2! Okay, respect to Acid Rain. Spearfin Henry will be the ones here. They decided to have, uh, Opponent Master sit this one out, and I love that. The 2v2. Respect there. That's that's respectful. I gotta give credit to Acid Rain. That is a respectful response. I guess we'll just keep this on. It's still technically a 3v3. Because these teams can go to three, but Acid Rain is going to respect it. It doesn't make a difference, though. That's goal number one, less than 30 seconds in. <laughs> what an interesting start to this game. Acid Rain with the early goal here. As, uh... And now we got 3v3. <laughs> what a start. Oh, dear. I, I, th this is what you love about show matches. Absolutely anything can happen. And I, I feel like we, we, you know, I feel like at some point we've seen everything. This, this feels like a first <laughs> on my stream. Uh, and yet, uh, I, I, we definitely had situations like that before. Just, jump matches, you know, again, they bring out the best out of so many uh, players and so many matches. It's just, it's the kind of matches that are just, they, they're so unscripted. There's not, you know, there, there's nothing about them that you can really predict. And so far, we, we're seeing a lot of things this series. Uh, don't happen often. I mean, we've seen again a team that's being ten to zero in goals. So actually, eleven to zero in goals so far. Completely shutting out another side. The Midwest Mafia can they, can they you know get something on the board? At this point, one goal would be just enough for them to be celebrating about. And things were already tough for them when they had to sub in Redwater. It's only made tougher with Acid Rain playing this well. But still, they are looking for offense. We'll see any in front. Double commit from Acid Rain, but they will still clear the ball out with Papone Master. Are looking for a long shot. This one going to the net. And that one bouncing in front. Twins will send it away. And Acid Rain will look for more offense. And I'm just, again, the, the barrage of shots are from Acid Rain. And some of them are so high up as well, they give their opponents no time to jump for it. So tough to read what this team's going to do. And while well, Henry's been scoring the majority of their goals. Every player on this roster feels scary from Acid Rain. Every player feels like they can score whenever they want. I don't think they'll be complaining at all here so far as Acid Rain have been playing ins insanely well. Henry, the dribble, the pop-up, that's going to be goal three. And Acid Rain continue their scoring from whence it started. this one for Acid Rain. It's another game where they're just running away with it. Still, you gotta wonder, did, you know, what do Midwest Mafia have to continue to play with right now? Because so far, they have found nothing. Henry's got a hat-trick again. Like, this guy does not miss. Henry just doesn't miss. This guy, he wasn't even, I think, supposed to start in this roster this season. He was added in late again. He was added in late on that uh, team registration. And yet, somehow... They found out what would happen. That is going to be 
quite uh, an interesting start so far. So, still Acid Rain. Uh, this, this seems ruthless as well. They're not missing their shots. They're not going to miss their shots. That's, uh... Well, if Midwest Mafia at this point, they don't care about I think, how many goals are getting scored on against them. They just want uh, one. They want one goal. Something that they can say that they did. They were able to score. So far, Acid Rain doing well, but that's Multini Robe! And Midwest Mafia, their first of the series. It's taken so long and so much effort, but they finally got it. After so much gameplay, they break through at last. But here's another one, Papone Master. Just that goal down quite quickly. That. That will definitely do it here. Acid Rain, still looking for more. I mean, they scored five goals. They've done that every single game so far, but a minute ago, it feels like every game they've given themselves more time to make their lead even bigger. Still, Acid Rain. Uh, I, there's not much else I can say about this. This is a team that is... I don't think they're even peaking, to be honest. They're definitely playing better than what I expect. I expect them to play in the regular season. Uh, but this team is insane for the level they're at. And you get the sense it's just three really good players that just collect. They all, it's one of those rosters that's like one of your dream rosters. A team that just plays so incredibly, so much better than everybody else, it feels. But you, you think that, you know, this is a team that's not supposed to be here, and yet these guys are still champ. When the champ three is Henry, he's put in another one. Uh, four goals for him this game. Six for Acid Rain. Another five goal lead. That's... That's just going to end this game. Six to one. Acid Rain... Another strong win here, and, and this is the best of seven, but I don't think it's going to last that long. It has just been non-stop action from the very beginning. But for MM Elite, there's still some hope for them here. Uh, they can turn things around. They'd get their first goal in this game. That's really the only good thing, though. But again, I, I, there's still hope that they can turn things around. Every game, it feels like, you know, they've gotten a little bit closer in keeping it with uh, keeping up with Asterine in that midfield. Still, that offense with Asterine is just tough to take down. I mean, look at the shots they have. They've been slowly incrementing these shots. It's 16 this game to 6 from Emily. Again, the most shots Emily's had this whole series. And it's still, it's a 10-shot difference between them and their opponents. It, it's it's one of those matchups that it, and that is just so strong so dominant for one team and so strong for acid rain the Midwest mafia side adjust properly game four here we come uh, our best of seven series might be coming to a very quick close Acid Rain, definitely the ones to bring that early offense every single game so far. All I need to do it is, for, is do it for one more game, and this series will be theirs, but they're definitely not having it easy. Triple command on their back line, Boltini Rome shot nearly found its way through. Will be Acid Rain to clear it out. Henry, off the back wall, dumping his Papone Master. Boltini will be there next, and I mentioned how she can be a bit roamed by Chaos. Uh, it hasn't just, it, I don't think it's going to be just her this season. Acid Rain 
aren't just a chaotic team. They're a team that has such good offense. Oh my, but Twins with a massive dunk. And I couldn't believe I'd be saying this this series, but Midwest Mafia Elite have a lead. Just absolutely posterized Papone Master in the air. What a beautiful start for Midwest Mafia. Now can they keep it going? So far, a potential yes, because Astrovane is double committed again. Papone Master missed it! It's open! Oh, but it will stay wide. Astrovane will want this one gone with Spiffy. Henry looking to jump right in, but dunked by Boltini Rome and Acid Rain. Starting to lose some of that rotation. I've said, Midwest Mafia Elite have gotten closer and closer every single match to keeping up here with Acid Rain. Now it feels like they're actually starting to really put chances against them, but that's a great demo. Henry's got the dribble. Boltini Rome dunked by Spiffy. He'll jump right in for it. He knew exactly where she was wanting that one. And Acid Rain tie the game up here as, again, Henry's mechanics have been a highlight of this series so far. It has been non-stop incredible players from Henry. And for Midwest Mafia Elite. So it's the moment of no turning back. They've got to push every... They've got to push a lot up here on the offense. And the chance if they want to get a couple of goals here against Acid Rain. So far, Acid Rain. I'm making that very possible with their transition. Spiffy to Henry, looking for the net on that play, but he wouldn't be able to get around the wall. Papone Master, looking for some form of an outward pass, but he's instead dunked his own teammate. Henry's all alone. He'll keep the offense going with Spiffy. Acid Rain, losing the battle slowly, but credit where credit's due. They're still challenging. Papone Master gets around one. Won't be able to get that second touch past Redwater. And Acid Rain with the ball again with Spiffy. Redwater. A long touch down the field. Henry jumping. Oh, but he's whiffed it. On low boost, Henry. Left on the back line with no opportunity. Want to use it all. He missed all the boost pads. It's one of those plays that, no matter how good you are, it still can really hurt. And so far, this game, Asterian finding it tough to keep that regular offensive stride. But in comes Henry. Right off the kickoff. He saved it out there. Acid Rain. Maneuver the offense, but Midwest Mafia Elite keeping that strong back line. And with two minutes to go, surprisingly, there's actually a good amount of stress in this matchup. But here comes a chance. Henry! Oh, he just alleviated all the stress there. Acid Rain. Oh, this team is not slowing down. Two minutes to go. Oh, my goodness. Acid Rain, a potential chance to take their first lead of this game. Yes, but this side of Midwest Mafia, I mean, this is a tough defense right now. And they're doing well stacking that defense. Still, it doesn't matter because Henry's too good. Again, his mechanics have been the highlight of this Acid Rain offense. And still, he finds a way. Midwest Mafia Elite. There's only so much you can do against Henry's uh, air dribbles. Still with 90 seconds to go, maybe a potential chance to try to tie this thing up. Miss from Headwater. The Bone Master will clear it away, and Acid Rain will get back on the offense. That pinch goes a ways away. Henry will collect him at this point for Acid Rain. They might be trying to slow this series down just a slight bit. But uh, they're still scoring there. That's a good chance from Spiffy, and there's no doubt about it. That's going to fall in the net. And Acid Rain... 
a great shot there from Spiffy catching Midwest Mafia Elite sending, sending everybody upfield. And for Midwest Mafia, uh, that goal might have silenced any chance they had in this game, which admittedly they did. They found opportunities, but I think it's just going to come at the expense of Acid Rain. It's starting to pop off right now because Spiffy's got another goal. And we're still only a minute away from the end of this one. But it already feels confirmed. Acid Rain will take the series in a sweep. And unfortunately for Midwest Mafia Elite, you know, there's some rough things about this series that definitely sealed uh, their fate. For one, Acid Rain is just playing insanely well. And for another thing, like Midwest Mafia, Redwater is not even on their roster. He just came in as that last second addition. Gotta feel bad for a player that gets subbed in like this in this play because it's so tough to get used to a team. Well, he did have a decent time trying to play with Midwest Mafia Elite. You can definitely tell there's a lot of cracks in that rotation. And Acid Rain were, uh, were, uh, were fully aware of that and fully took advantage of it. As now Henry, the dribble looking for one more, but this one kept out by Redwater. Less than 30 seconds to go. Midwest Mafia Elite. Want one more goal, want one more shout in this series. I don't think they're going to get that opportunity. Acid Rain playing keep away. And as they'll look for the clear, Midwest Mafia. The series is over, a little show match here, but for Acid Rain, it's just turned into an absolutely dominant start to the uh, starting performance here. Their first time on this stream, and it's a 4 0 sweep over Midwest Mafia Elite. Beautiful showing from these three players. This series. And so now that they're going to play like this during the regular season, I have a feeling their work is far from done. As again, for both these teams, though, good luck to them in that Ascension Cup. This is week one, so for both of them, they've got some time to get used to their matches. When they come as Dubcast, thank you for the aims. Of course, Spiffy, congrats on your uh, win there. We got a little interview as well with Spiffy, so we'll have him join us here for a few minutes. Let me go invite him. Again, we'll, we'll get Spiffy in our next match, by the way. Is going to be uh, OUG Abstract Team Evo Academy. We got another best of seven show match. That to be quite exciting as well as we'll just look to. Again, we're looking just to get him in here. Welcome in, Spiffy. Congrats on your win. Uh, your first time on the stream. You guys definitely showed up. Uh, you know, how does it feel now to kind of get on a stream here? A stream you might be joining again for in the future of the uh, Ascension Cup. And just to show up here, because this is a huge start. You guys look insanely talented playing against Midwest Mafia Elite. Thanks, man. Yeah, we've been grinding, uh, enjoying the team, and uh, enjoying uh, playing, with, uh, playing with my teammates. We're having a great time. Uh, all laughs and giggles and... Just uh, grinding it out. Um, appreciate you uh, casting. It was, a, it was a good time. Hopefully we can get you back and we can play some more games uh, in the future. Again, I love to hear that again, though. Uh, big win. And really, you got to tell me about Henry because he's got an interesting story. I mentioned it during that, se that series. He was your last addition, I believe. He was not even initially on that roster. So, you know, to add him in and now have him basically be a kind of one of your starters, as I've heard. You know, what's it, you know, what has, how has the transition been like to adding Henry to your roster? Well, yeah, first it was me and Pop. So me and Pop have, uh, we've been, I think, friends for quite a while now and just looking for a solid third to, uh, that wants to grind as much as we do and wants to actually enjoy the game and play. And um, yeah, Henry stepped up and also he's cracked at the game and he's a good guy and we've, uh, we've all been having fun and enjoying the game together. So uh, he kind of fit perfect for a third there. And um, yeah, he's, uh, so I think, he hit GC for a little bit, and then now he's back down the C3. So we're ups and downs. We're right around the the top of C3. At least those two are popping. Uh, Henry, but yeah, they're 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 great teammates, fun to work with, and uh, 
fun to play with them. You know, again, you guys have looked the part, that's for sure. You've looked like the solid team, and again, I mean, again, you know, you know, even though this is so much, even though this technically has no bearings, you know, what does this do to, help, to you guys kind of going into the Central Cup? Because this, because this Midwest Mafia Elite team, you're not going to play them in the regular season. That's about the kind of level of teams you're going to be seeing as one of the teams in this in your league, and it's it's, it's a pretty long season. It's six weeks plus the two week playoffs. So, what do you guys kind of what do you guys you know how has this match helped you guys kind of get used to the Ascension Cup? Because uh, once you get into the Ascension Cup, you know you, you, there's no turning back. You you you're going to have to uh, play some much uh, some very stressful matches, ones that actually have weight to. Them. Uh yeah no we've been uh been grinding we've been uh scrimming teams a little bit uh higher ranked than us and um, that's definitely helped a lot and now seeing I wouldn't say this is all teams and maybe their team is you know newer and still working on grinding and I think they also had maybe a sub and they didn't have their they had a sub, full yes, team they, up. They, did, they did have a sub today they had water he so on um but um. Yeah, no, we we just keep on grinding. We're we play ranks higher than us to get the feel for faster paced games, and that's helped a lot. So we're going to continue doing that and just continue grinding threes together and and playing. Love to hear again. Is there any last things you want to say here? You know, anything you want to say about the attention the Ascension Cup coming up? Any just shout outs you have? Anything you want to say here before we'll end this uh, little interview? And we're actually going to head up to our next match, which is another show match between uh, OG Abstracts and Team Evo Academy. Well, good luck at EG. They, uh, I played on their team for a little bit. They're a good g group of guys, and hopefully they uh, pull out the W. Um, yeah, we we look forward to playing in the the league here and grinding it out. So appreciate you. And thank you so much for joining, Spiffy. Congratulations on your win there, and yeah, hopefully we'll see you guys more as the Ascension Cup uh, continues to play out. Of course, man. Well, have a good night and enjoy the rest of your uh, games. Good luck. Thank you. You too. Hey, that was Spiffy there of uh, uh, of uh, Acid Rain, a 4-0 sweep to start off our night. But again, we'll have another uh, show match coming up. Our next one is OUG Abstract on Team Evo Academy. So we've got a, another best of seven, but this one in that Apex Cup level. We'll be seeing that match, though, after this quick break.
Welcome back, everybody. This buddy stream is back, and we'll get our second show match up in just a few minutes. OUG Abstract Team Evo Academy. Eventually, our last match was an Ascension Cup matchup between Acid Rain and Midwest Mafia Elite, where Acid Rain took a very strong 4 4 0 sweep win. We got another best of seven in Abstract and Evo Academy coming in. This is our Apex Cup show match for today. These two teams are in the uh, Ascension Tournament Series Apex Cup, which is also starting this week. Both these sides will be looking to see again to show us kind of what they'll be doing here. And obviously, later on, we'll have our start with the RLSS with Dexter New Nomads and NRX 35 Panda. Best of five there, but you know, one more best of seven. Two of them today, it's, you know, so many best of sevens in one day. Not always, not super common that that does happen, but we got them. And of course, both of them are show matches, hopefully. So, unlike the last one, this one. It'll be a little easier to hopefully get things going. These teams seem like they're both very much ready. So they just give them a few minutes. They should be here, which sounds like it will be exciting. Uh, but besides, it is again another best of seven. I know, again, we've seen this abstract team before in show matches. I will let you know, their captain uh, in Hardpoint, he loves to schedule these uh, up in ver with various different casters. So happy to have to see these guys this this week, though. Uh, definitely be a big matchup, at the very least. OUG Abstract Team Evo Academy. It'll be quite the matchup. We'll and see how these go teams go. We, we've seen this again, Abstract Team. They are slightly different, though. We've added a couple players to their roster. Obviously, Wavy still is coach. Our point dimension is in Kai still leading, but they've removed Blue Sabres. They've added in Mizzle and Ice Griff in Evo Academy. This roster actually has actually grew since the last time. Last time it was Seth Palm, Risky, Stark is the roster that you might recognize from Team Evo Academy. Since then they've added Leopard and Coach Mini, and yes, that is the coach, that is the same Mini that we just saw play on Dream Station. So for these guys, again, both these are Apex Cup level teams. Is our GC1, GC2 division. OUG Abstract. Their first match this week. Against Nola Flights Jetstream, the Amiibo Academy. Their match this week will be against URL Immortal. And some, uh, definitely some interesting parts. So you, you, you again, it's a interesting, again, I, I love to see these, these kind of matchups because these are definitely going to be some relatively interesting matchups. And for how these teams are uh, have played, these teams are very high ranked. Evo Academy is one of our higher ranked teams. OG Abstracts are also pretty high ranked themselves. They're, at, they're, they're both definitely closer to that GC2 ranking than they are that GC1 ranking. So, again, so for what we for what I know about these teams, it's surprising to see them both be in such a you know a strong position this league. They should be some of the t uh, some of the front runners for the at Apex Cup, but we'll see how far that will take them. For now, though, picture boy is live. Who on who you think will take this one? OG Abstract. Or Evo Academy. Your time to make those votes to get your voice heard. Or we get to, to start our best of seven here. And then these, a lot of these matches were scheduled very late, but happy we got them on this stream. The good action we saw from last series will only continue here. Gonna be able to see, again. This will be a, this match. Now, obviously, we'll see one later tonight. Only gonna be able to see these teams for uh, only the series, but uh, the, a lot of what we're gonna see the series will probably be how these teams want to play in the future. Obviously, though, it is a show match, so you know, take that with a grain of salt. These teams are both playing in a match that doesn't have that same pressure as a, a regular season matchup in ATS would, or and definitely not as much as a playoff match would. Both these sides, so for both of them. Trying to obviously get themselves into ATS, kind of get used to it. Evo Academy have been in here before. They won actually the Black Lotus Fall Open um, when they played in that. That was a long time ago. That was one of our earlier events in the ATS, probably our first major event for ATS. Right after the LDC Invitational. They were able to win. The Black Lotus Fall Open was two different tiers. I believe they won the, high, the higher rank one. I want to say that, G that I think it was like our GC2 tier. 
But again, these guys, they know how to win. They're one of the, they're a very scary team to play against. Leaving a lurk. Got some scrims, of course, Spurge. Have fun is. My team has Witter. Hello, Obvimus. Who, who, what team are you cheering for? Obvimus. Hey, thank you. I was also joining Vert. Nice to see you, my friend. Yeah, it's OG uh, Abstract Team Evo Academy. Here for, again, a little show match. This is, again, one that should be... Again, what we saw last match was, was already quite insane. Should be even higher ranked as... Let go in. Uh, again, is it Maisel? Is that how you pronounce your name? I forgot to ask, man. Is it, is it, it's Maisel, right? Is that how I pronounce your name? Um... Thank you for the follow, man. Good luck in your matchup. Let me know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. It's Maisel, if, I, if that's how I pronounce it. And I've definitely done a good job as a caster. MXCL. Oh, it's actually pronounced letters. Oh, okay. MXCL. Got it. I just thought the X, the X usually sometimes stands in for a vowel, but I guess not this time. This is one of those times where, no, you have to X pronounce it literally. Got it. I'll just call you MXL then. Got it. Thank you, MXL. My apologies, I pronounced it correctly. I thought it was Maisel. I thought it was like a vowel in there. This could be any vowel. Maisel. Mosel. Anyways, thank you again for the follow. M MXL. Good luck in your match. They're on the side of OUG Abstract. Or MX. All right, I might call. I, all right, MX then for short. I might use that as well. Um, but again, thank you for the follow. Thank you for also letting me know about that. Um, they're still waiting on uh, Evo Academy. I did hear from Seth Palm. They might be like a minute or two late, so hopefully not more than that. But yeah, I'm hoping I'm hoping not super late because again, I I don't like late matches. Uh, you saw from the last one, I was a bit worried. Okay, you know, we still have about two hours before our next match, but still, we'll see how this works here. Again, get your votes in. Prediction poll is still live, after all, and you guys want to vote for who you think will win this one. Luigi Abstract. Mevo Academy. As we actually heard from Mevo Academy, they're looking to get themselves right in the lobby, or they might actually... But we'll see how that's happening here. Setbomb actually I don't think is playing today, so... It will probably... Most likely we're going to see Leopard jump in for him. Hopefully they're, I hope that they, are play, they will play us. It's actually getting an update. It's not. It's Of course, it's another substitution. Stoic, Risky, and it's Ryan. Ryan's jumping in. I don't know if this is the same Ryan on Team Evo... Uh, not Team Evo. On Team Ignition. Uh, I'll find out very soon if it is. I, I know that Ryan pretty well, but... Thank you for the uh, fall, Kai. Welcome in. Thank you for the uh, following this body stream. It is not. Let's see, it is Risky Risky Icarus Philly. <laughs> Alright, who is who? <laughs> uh we're gonna find out who is who here. Uh because I know Philly's a different player. I'm assuming that is who Ryan is. Um Thank you for the follow. is Philly, and I'm assuming Icarus then is probably Stoic, so... So Philly is also known as Ryan. Got it. So it's gonna be... I, I, I called him Philly last time. I believe he goes by... I, he's gone by Philly before in this stream. But, uh... Okay, we are getting an update. Icarus in chat. Icarus in the lobby is Stoic, so... Of course, they don't make this easy for us, do they? <laughs> Yeah, and hopefully we'll set it up in just a moment. Sorry about the delays. Uh, 
Um, Yeah, we'll get them in. So Evo Academy. I'm gonna go by the names that they go by officially here. So we will be calling them Philly, not Ryan. As well as Stoic, not Icarus. I can't believe these guys. They don't make this easy for us, do they, here? Uh, in these kind of matchups. Uh, but we'll get them in anyways for our little best of seven. OG Abstract on the blue. Team Evo Academy on the orange. Our final uh, show match of the night here. Of the two show matches we've had. And again, we've seen this Team Evo Academy side. Philly has was on this roster when they did win that Black Lotus Fall Open. At the very least, like the, I think it was on last time they won, which, again, this team has not been on this, on this stream for, uh, very often. Not too surprising to see him sub in, I think, for this team, even though he has not listed on their Apex Cup roster. But, you know, credit where credit's due. They still want to come in and play well as Dimension is. Nearly shot that in his own net. Gonna be wondering for OG Abstract. We've seen this team on the stream so many times before. They really haven't, again, gone through too many changes. And the only new player being MXL, at least right now, for OUG as, uh, well, speaking of him, an early shot will be kept out by Risky. OG Abstract. Gonna bring in that offense, but so much of this is gonna be them playing a lot of defense against Team Evo Academy. This Evo Academy team is not one that you can shake off easily. A stoic dropping in, looking for that chance. That one ping balling around. Risky shot. Saved by MX. Philly now. That one off the back wall here. Stoic. And goal one will go to Team Evo. And it's a best of seven, so for EG Abstract, they have a ton of time to get used to this series, but we know how Evo Academy like to play. This is definitely a team that will be more aggressive this series. And a good start for them. They're definitely bringing that aggression in early. Often I, I see players that struggle to do just that. Again, for Evo Academy, what a great start it has been so far. Risky now. I'm actually going to stop him. He, uh, OG Abstract. Last time we saw them was quite a while ago. So, again, with this roster having gone through this line of change, we'll see if... Well, you know, what changes about them? Not if, but what? Because almost certainly there will be things that are different. With they, uh, uh, the roster has been altered. So far, Evo Academy holding the pressure. Not for long, though. In comes Kai. Dimensiones and our big whiff. Evo Academy down the field. Risky. Gets past Kai. Not looking for the dunk. Won't be able to make contact. And Evo Academy will send it straight midfield. Dimensiones. Wide to the net, Risky's whiffed, MX to shoot, and MX to score, OUG Abstract have tied this up here as Team Evo Academy, it just feels like sometimes they get a bit carried away, a bit careless, and oh there, Philly and Risky, uh, I think they could have done a lot better on those challenges, that's a bit of a giveaway opportunity, that's not one you want to give up easily. So far, Team Evo. Bring a lot of that pressure here. OUG will up that chance in its tracks halfway through the game already. One to one, you're gonna see. As I assume, we're gonna see a lot of offense, but a lot less scoring. Teams at this level usually are so good at defending. It's gonna require these teams to play, you know, very smart on offense. You can't just throw everything you want at that net. Got to pick and choose those shots, especially as OUG after get a little more aggressive as time goes on. They're really good at taking advantage of opportunities that they have found. And well, we'll see how much they can make of them as Phillies. That shot goes wide. It was an open net opportunity for him, but that's a tough angle. Evo Academy will watch it go wide, but OUG going to keep that pressure. Dimension is going to get straight up to the field. Uh, sorry, Stoic. On the ball, he's got the dribble. Evo Academy, no strangers at going in the air. As a point there from Stoic. A ground bounce pogo shot. And Risky will finish it off. To start from the demos, and this is Evo Academy dancing their way down the field. Mechanics on full display. It was not a beautiful pogo, that's for sure, but it definitely fools OUG Abstract. And, you know, in game one, you want to set that tone early. That's a great way to do it, to style... Put in some style points against the team. Is Whiskey now dunks by Kai. 
Dimensiones won't be able to get the shot, but in comes the chance from Stoic. Flip reset. Touchdown to Philly. Evo Academy. Going to keep that ball close to them. Won't get the opportunities, though. As OU Jamstrak holding the ball, and we're seeing these teams slow this play down. A lot more evidence on these ground dribbles, these 50-50s. You can come out with the, all the offense you want, but got to be able to find ways to beat ask the defense to really goals. I know that's like probably the most, the biggest understatement I've ever said before, but it is true. Is that one? Oh, great chance. Dimensiones. You think, and you're thinking that should have gone in. It was a beautiful pass. And again, these 1v1 plays, OG Abstract, you know, strangers to them. They like that they're playing 1v1 against Evo Academy. Both these teams seem to like it. So far, it's, no, there's been no definitive winner. Consistently on these plays, although MXCL is trying to find a second goal. We'll get it from that chance. Dimension is now to Kai. They didn't get bumps. Kai sold the ball, but Stark will save. Evo Academy. Keep up with it. Philly. Shot down the field. Dimension is. It's it wide. Second touch to the center of the field, but risky. Across the goal. Stoic. Next up. When will he challenge? He won't. Philly will jump in instead. And slow down. Now here comes Stoic. As time runs out, Evo Academy looking for a third goal to solidify this game. Stoic nearly found it. Philly now towards the back post. Saved by Kai. LUG Abstract looking for one chance at zero seconds, but they won't get it. Evo Academy will start the series in their favor. As I said earlier in this game, a best of seven though, and with it being this close, I have to see a good amount of back and forth from these sides. Especially when they are trying new rosters and new ideas. In last game, at least for what I saw, so many demos from uh, both these sides. But Evo, look at that. Four from Philly. Three from Dimensiones on the side of OUG Abstract. Both these teams are not afraid to get into each other's faces. This team Evo with the early start. Now they look to... Add more in the game, too, to really set them apart from LG Abstract. You know, you can have a really good start, but be able to live up to the rest of the series. I mean, last series was a sweep. I don't think this is going to follow the same path, though, with how close it feels it like it is going to be. Evo Academy definitely trying to give themselves the best chance. Philly looking for a double tap, but... Menciones gives him no opportunity, but a bad touch in front. Stoic not able to get to that challenge in time. Evo Academy had an opportunity there. The OG Abstract side gifted them a pass in the midfield. They didn't take it. Evo Academy won't get the chance again as they look for another one. Stoic. Stop by Dimensiones. Stoic still going. A great chance there. Dimensiones off his line. Risky. Wide. Maybe a follow up from Philly. This one up high. Where is another? Stoic puts it in. And Team Evo Academy making the OG Abstract team flounder on their defense. There's so many challenges, bumps, chaos all over the place. This is what Evo Academy does so well. This is why they're one of the scariest teams in that Apex Cup. It's why they have such a good chance of winning it. But so far, what we've seen from Evo Academy. That chaos on offense, the ability to throw plays at that net to make Oichi Abstract really fear for their own lives. They're making this game very tough for this abstract defense. Now another chance. Philly. One of that drop down opportunity, but he won't get it back. Here comes Stoic. Up by MXCL. Philly. Another solo play opportunity. A flip reset. A second one from Philly, but he won't be able to put it to use. Well, Tivo Academy are pushing up field, and again, this OG abstract side continue left to just chase around the ball in their own defensive half. You don't want to move that much as a defensive player. You want the ball to come uh, to come to you more often. They're using so much resources just to keep up with Evo Academy. You can really tell it's taking its toll here. SF Palm saying in chat, they look good without you. Yes, F Palm, they do look pretty good without you. Unfortunately, I don't believe Philly's on your roster though, so. Not yet, at least. Subs are, uh, teams are allowed to add players in during the regular season. They have Three subs each, so maybe maybe this is a sign that Philly needs to be added back <laughs> because this guy is uh, 
he is playing up with his teammates here. Risky. Oh, and Stoic combining on that one. The two actual Evo Academy players in the ATS Apex Cup. Link up for a beautiful pass. And it's a 2-0 lead halfway through the game. Great start for Evo Academy. is only getting better here in game two. It's only getting stronger. OUG Abstract looking even less of a threat this game. It feels like for Evo Academy, just kind of locked down. Did what they did last game, but even better was a double tap attempt. Kaya will come across to stop it, but OUG Abstract. Can they find some sort of pressure? They aren't finding it yet. MXEL. Fucking for the midfield. Dimension is beat by Risky. He was the Black Lotus Fall Open Pinnacle Cup MVP when they won in uh, when they won so many months ago. And uh, he's still, you know, just as strong even today. Probably even stronger than he was before. As I'm sorry, it was not Pinnacle Cup. Ultimate Cup was what was the one that they were playing on, I believe. The lower division that one I think that was GC that went up to GC1, GC2 around that level. The, ult the Pinnacle Cup was GC3, SSL completely uncapped. That was the one that PXU, uh, that PXU Chronicle won. Still so far, look at this from Evo Academy. Making this awkward, Dimensiones. Great double challenge, but... And our opportunity is a great demo from Kai, though. We'll open up the space, and... Still, Evo Academy are winning this. They have given... I don't think Abstract have been on offense... Uh, in the last couple minutes as a dunk in front! Kai's kept it out! Just have to watch that ball trickle on his goal line, but it somehow decides not to go in. It's risky. Looking for a goal free, but it won't be given to him there from that opportunity. Still another chance from Philly Evo Academy. Doing well to really make OG Abstract move from one side of the field to the other. There's a team that doesn't, you know, play things super direct. They like to go to the sidewall. They like to move to the midfield immediately after. The ball just gets moved so quickly around. But they're the ones to follow it up every single time, it feels. And OG Abstract left having to chase it down. And it's not a play you want to be in on that defensive half. As MXCL to clear. Dimension is removed from the field as Team Evo look for one more here in game two. OUG Abstract with the 1UP Gaming Org. Trying to not be shut out. And this is a good chance to do so. But a missed chance from MXCL. He was, I believe, the only one to score last game. But unfortunately, he won't get the chance there. And Team Evo will make it 3-0 just to solidify this game here. And Evo Academy... Well, in game two, no questions. Evo Academy have only gotten better. OUG Abstract, they've got a lot of work to do here because, a reminder, this is a team that's also in the Apex Cup with them. And they, uh, well, they're not doing very well at keeping up to this Evo side. Is it to see a follow at the end of that game from Spade? Thank you for the follow, Spade. Welcome to the Spodius stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Definitely means a lot to me to see you guys continuing to. Uh, be so supportive. For now, we're just going to be moving right into that next game here. Game number three. The FH Stadium. Another series that could end very quickly here as long as uh, with how these teams are playing. They're really not taking their time. It's pretty the best. Thank you for the comment. Hello, Shadow Ball. Welcome in. Me on the map. Hey, Optimus, again, I, I love the support. Um, again, the support is, is the reason why I've been able to work at events like the draw, like RLCS. I actually just worked with Cloverity for their for two, uh, two of the three days of their RLCS run. The reason why I'm running tournaments for ATS, and I'm actually going to be running tournaments for another uh, league very soon. I cannot tell you about it, but... I can, I can guarantee you guys, I'll be joining another league in the near future. So 
so far. At least for this series. We got a much more relaxed matchup. Mevo Academy, though. Definitely just playing a lot better as a almost a goal there from Philly Risky now in the midfield. Mevo Academy, this is what they do so well. Look at how fast this ball's moving. And yet, somehow, they're always the first ones to it. This is not just pure speed. This is them controlling these touches. Recognizing where each other are. And just realizing that they can find each other. Again, it's controlled. These plays are controlled. These 50s are controlled. To make sure that they're going to be the ones that are first to it. So far, this one off the crossbar. Will be put in by... Uh, I almost said Seth Palm. Seth Palm's in chat. Put in by Stoic. Different S name. As I mentioned, is an MXO. I thought they were good. At least one of them would have cleared it, but... Again, that's just how EVO Academy's played. They expected an immediate shot. They never came. They look a bit silly, but for EVO Academy, they're going to be looking pretty good with a one-goal lead. EVO Academy. Continuing their incredible momentous run. As they look to try to take down OUG Abstract actually really quickly in this series. And they're really en route to do so. Again, part of the reason why is Abstract does... And it's even crazy, again, OG Ab uh, I was going to say part of the reason why is Abstract have a sub, but they don't have a sub. That's uh, Evo that has a sub. Philly something in, but... Again, uh, Seth Bombeau here in chat. Maybe this, is a re maybe this is a sign that Philly needs to join the roster for uh, Apex Cup. I mean, dude's fitting in really well. I don't know how recently he's played with your team. It looks pretty recent, though. He looks very comfortable with this roster. I know Evo this Evo Academy team does play in other leagues, so... I would assume uh, Philly probably plays in other leagues. So far, he, he's not in the roster for Apex Cup. He's been on the roster and he got us to the finals in AGL last season. I see. Again, this might be a, a sign here. <laughs> really, Philly's playing pretty good. The, the chemistry's still there uh, between these guys, definitely. Like you can tell, they, they have not lost the uh, touch here. Even ever, even ever since he won again in ATS, he has not lost uh, his playstyle. On Evo Rogue, I see he's on a different Evo team. Well, good on him, dude's solid. Still so far, game two, uh, game three. Sorry, only a one goal lead for Evo Academy. They've not been able to score all that often. UG Abstract. Being ones to put a wrench in that situation. They're, again, their defense, I have mentioned, has been pretty strong so far. And a lot of these shots from Evo Academy, they've just not been there. They've been very long, uh, far shots, long shots. And while they have been placed well, from that distance, it's very easy to react to it at this level. We'll see if Evo Academy can get a little close to that net. Philly trying to do it there. Nearly got on the bar. Ball from Risky. That one kept out by MXL. Evo Academy. Back up field. Stoic. Flip reset. Looks to use it, but that one's going to go wide. Nevo would just have to let this one get away from them. Great opportunities, though. They're bringing in those quality chances once again, right in front of that, right in front of the faces of OUG Abstract. OUG Abstract stared right at it. Back, they made some great blocks. And they continue to do so. This is going to be tougher, though. In front, Philly missed the opportunity. Still, it's Evo on the ball. Philly. Off the side wall, second touch in front for Stoic. Kai save. Risky to the back wall. Second touch will stay wide. And this is Evo Academy really searching for that second goal. Another chance. This one. MXL won't give it. And this one sent to the midfield. MXL there once again, but OG Abstract still not on the ball. They can't get the offense here. And Evo Academy wasting their time. MX, the clear, touched by Dimensiones, up is MX, but that shot's going to be weak, and it's Evo Academy back the other way, looking for an opportunity of their own, Philly, off the corner, the Stoic, Risky now, gets past them all, that one bouncing off the back wall, that is going to be about as close as things get here, but Evo Academy, they're getting so close, still another chance, that one save, and time running out here. OUG Abstract needs to go down the field. But they won't get the opportunity. Kai can't get the save. And Evo Academy now. Three games up in the series.
And at this point, we might be seeing another uh, sweep here. Astro, come and follow. Thank you for jumping in, Astro. Welcome to the sportiest stream. Hopefully you're doing well. If I'm not wrong, you're on a team for ATS as well, right? Astro? What team are you on, Astro? I know you're on one of our teams. DNA, you're on DNA. Well, what's DNA team? There's, there's three of them. <laughs> are you in Fury? I, I feel like you're on Fury. Right, please, please tell me. Nexus, you're on Nexus, got it. Again, there's three teams. There's Fury, Nexus, and uh, Weeping Demons, so... I hope we actually get to see some of those DNA versus DNA matchups. I know there's at least one of them this season. At least I'm, I'm pretty certain there's at least one of them this season. So far, going into game four, and while I've been, I'm talking with you uh, here, Astro, you haven't seen a lot of this series, I don't know, but... Again, okay, thank you for the fall, by the way. I don't know how much of a series you've seen, but so far, as a little recap, this has been Evo Academy. They have been so good at just being chaotic. OG Abstract have not been able to keep up. That offense of Evo has been a whole lot stronger right now. And OG Abstract has been kept back on defense for huge amounts of times uh, here so far. Here's a shot from Philly. That's going to go in. And just as I was talking about their offense, here it comes. Evo Academy right on cue. A pass from, uh, from Stoic finds Philly. Again, he is just subbing in, though, Philly. He was on this team in the past, though. Maybe reverse sweep? Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. At least you have to, have to change a lot of things if they want to reverse sweep. It has happened on this stream, but it hasn't. it doesn't happen often. So far, though. Evo Academy, bringing the offense here. The play down the field, stopped by Kai. Risky now. Second touch, Dimensiones to the net! A tie game, OUG Abstract. They've been on a bit of a goal drought for a little while here, but... I'll finally put that one in, a great shot. Abstract trying to keep it close here. They're, the series is, you know, could be nearing its close if... Uh, OG Abstract, don't put a change to it. It's Team Evo Academy. Really showing us what this team could be like this season. Again, but Philly obviously being a sub. We'll see what changes, but I, I know Seth Palm pretty well. I know you pretty well, Seth Palm. You're pretty solid. And at the very least, to see Risky and Sto uh, Stoic play so well together, definitely a good sign for Evo Academy in the, in the future for this league. I mean, I have to say good things about you, uh, Seth Palm. You were my coach at one point. Um, back when I was on 100x35 Team Evo. I'd say you're pretty, I'd say you're pretty good uh, there, Seth Palm. So far, Team Evo Academy just trying to gather some space, get some opportunities. Philly's looking good. Really infield pinch. That one went across the goal line very dangerously, but... Oh, shit, I let it go. They recognized no one was there. Now, shut down field. Philly will save. And with half the game to go, it's tied so far, but it may not be tied for very long. These teams both trying to pick up that pace. Feels like a goal will come at some point. Especially off the back wall, both these teams have been definitely making sure to test that back wall whenever they get the opportunity to do so. Here comes uh, Stoic. Doing just the same, Kai with a clear. Philly, dunk by Kai. It's Dimensiones who will hit it out. The dribble from Dimensiones, he's got some pretty solid mechanics, but... On the ground, he won't be beating multiple players, that's for sure. But Jabjack will simply just have to watch his... Their offense is one that's still up in the air. They do have it, but... Needs to make more of it. It's a great pass! Kai's got it open! NOUG Abstract will take the lead! And it's Dimensiones fighting his way through! And for Stoic, I don't think he knew what was happening quickly enough. He must have thought that play was going to stay to the back wall. Will be a clear away. Risky. A 50 off to the back wall. In front of the net. Stoic and Philly both jumping over. A double fake. Neither of them wanted that one. And oh, Team Evo Academy nearly shot themselves in the foot. This game definitely it feels like the closest of the games that we've seen so far. 
Oh, you abstract. Now, that's a good sign for them. Let's try to at least prolong the series by at least one more game. Will be OG Abstract looking for the clear. Mevo Academy. Trying to find these passes downfield. OG Abstract was unable to shut them out of it. And these passes do acquire a good amount of resources, so Mevo Academy, they've got to be very smart with how they use their boost. Once you lose out, once you lose it, those passing plays become a whole lot tougher. Not just his positioning, but a lot of it is also just catching up here as no one... Ah, uh, no one wants that ball right now. Both sides just letting it roll to the midfield. Luigi Abstract holding the possession, but... Risky trying to send it away. Kai towards the net. Philly will be there. Evo Academy. Getting a taste of the OG Abstract squeeze. They really had limited opportunities to do that so far this series, but this one a lot more prolonged than any other play so far, and they're going to get a goal out of it. Kai is going to finish this play off. No UG Abstract. Game 4 looks like it might be there. We might not be seeing a sweep after all. As a big clear from OG Abstract trying to find one more goal, but really, I think in this position, defense is going to be a little bit more important than offense. Oh, just holding this lead is going to be what you need to do, because you know, Kenemy looking to take it right back, but that pass from Stoic does not connect to Philly, and that will end the play there and end this game. OUG Abstract will prevent the 4 0 sweep. The series will be prolonged by one more game at the very least. Took them three games to figure out this Evo Academy playstyle, but finally found an idea of what it would be like. The yeah, Evo Academy, that offense, really struggling this game. Only two shots in total for a team that had so much offense, they, they really didn't have the ability to bring it out that game. They kept back for the, those final two minutes, it felt. And really, this game, this series, and, this, and these games have been decided by a lot of midfield pressure. Who's got that midfield dominance? The Academy's definitely been the ones that have done it more consistently, but OG Abstract last game, that's that's where they won. All they do is just do it again here in game five. Could be a little easier said than done as OG Abstract will look for a big clear. Early offense potential trying to re trying to start from where they left off in game four. Vivo Academy. We need to rely a little more on passing plays, I think. See how you beat this OG Abstract team. And while they have brought a lot of passes already, I don't think those those mechanics are gonna be nearly as successful anymore. Especially with the limited amount of space they're being given here in the midfield. But still you gotta give credit to them going for those plays. Uh, here's Stoic, a bit of a miss on that flip reset. Risky, though, in the midfield. Menciones will clear it out as Philly Challenge will keep the ball in Team Evo Academy territory. Sto uh, Stoic, popping it down for Philly. Evo Academy trying to push their way through this OG Abstract midfield that is, was a pain to beat last game. Now this game, maybe finding more successes. That one just a little wide from Stoic. As, oh, Dimensionas, they just had a, uh, an internet outage there. A huge issue there, and that means for OG Abstract, they're going to be playing with two players for the time being. We'll let these two teams play on for now, but... He is back. A short little outage there for Dimensionas, but obviously... Seems like that issue has subsided. OG Abstract looking for more offense. They got the chance! It's MXCL! And OUG Abstract, their first of Game 5. And again, it's been the passes that have been that decision-making play for these teams. I know OG Abstract bringing a response to Team Evo that Team Evo was definitely not expecting. Maybe all OG Abstract needed was just to warm up to the series. It took them three games, but... 
it feels like now here in game five after winning that last game, they're just looking better and better as an open net chance. That's going to be kept out pretty easily by Philly, though. Team Evo Academy. I find some breakthrough. Some reason to let OG Abstract know they're still attacking strong, but they just haven't found the opportunities. These passes have missed. These plays just don't feel very quality anymore. It's a problem because right now OG Abstract is doing a lot better. These passes have been a lot more crisp from them. They are like, shooting straight at each other. There's a chance for Miski. Shot goes wide. But from Stoic, MXEL on the goal line will jump out and keep it away. One who leads stands is now looking for two! MXEL with a big dunk. A fortunate play finds itself going to the orange goal. There's really no way to prepare for those. Team Evo Academy. It, it feels like what they've done so well so far is not working now for them. Again, that offense, just the, the quality of our offense isn't there, but that's a big overcommit. And Philly's going to put one back for Evo Academy. Uh, I've never thought a goal was so necessary for them. But here he catches Kai. We pushed up on that sheet. Couldn't get back to it. From Evo Academy now. With two minutes, 12 seconds to go. Maybe this is their, maybe this is their calling cry to get right back to business. What we saw in the start of the series... OUG Abstract. I tried to bring the answer, but a big whiff. Maybe an answer from Stoic. But the Menciones stays calm on the goal line. And that was, will allow him to have that save. It's a clear. The Menciones. I up with it. Menciones again looking in the midfield. Philly. A heavy touch down the field. Evo Academy with Philly. A teammate there in Stoic, but that shot's gone high. Evo Academy starting to force some of these plays through for them. I'm running out, recognizing they don't have many opportunities left to, you know, get themselves back in this game. If they continue to whiff the ball like that on the back of the line, they're not going to get those opportunities. But Philly. Touch outwards, MXCL will stop it, but it's still risky on the ball. Dimension is... Allen by Philly, Evo Academy, still holding it down here on offense. And now a breakthrough chance! And it's Stoic off the corner! A double tap through! And Evo Academy have tied the game at two! In game five, inside the final minute, it's Team Evo. We brought a beautiful shot, a beautiful play to tie this one up, but they might not hold it for long. Off the back wall in front, a follow-up from Kai goes high. And OUG Abstract. Have to look for a different chance. Dimensionis, a full tank of boost to work with, but Philly will beat him on the challenge. This one in front, MXL just keeps it wide. But Evo Academy still searching. 30 seconds to go from two goals down. Looking to try to become a team that's 3-2 up. They're the ones with the momentum to do it. In front of the net. Stoic. Second touch trying to center the ball in field. The OUG. Quick to deny that opportunity. Now XL. Dimensiones. Philly. Stands in their way. It's OUG are still pushing up field. A clear from Stoic. Straight to MXL. Risky. Up is Stoic. This one off the back wall. Dimensiones trying to keep it away. Risky and zero seconds. He's missed. But Philly will score and win the series. Team Evil Academy. A two goal comeback made here. Three goals straight. And this one at zero seconds will allow them to take the series. What a comeback in game five. Team Evo Academy. They felt that response. Moji Abstract, but response just couldn't hold forever. Well, and I know a lot of you did predict Team Evo, I think, to take this series. Again, what a match. 
That is a big, big win for them. Again, you know, for OE Jabstack, when they continue to try to play against teams that are you know, better than their higher rank, that maybe have a little bit more, you know, they're going to improve, and you can definitely see that improvement here. Against Team Evo, they definitely had to get used to that kind of play. But hey, I, I, I will say this good on them. A big win. Don't get those kind of matchups. Uh, very often, you know, you don't get those kind of really fun goals to end off a series. Your second goals to win a series, those are always kind of your dreams, but you get to see uh, that matchup end that way with a beautiful zero second goal. And again, these are just show matches, though, so they're pretty casual. I took it pretty casually as well. But there's tonight's, we're not going to have a casual match. It's going to be the Rock League Splash Series coming in for its fifth season. It, our first match of, of season five, X2 New Nomads, 100X35 Panda. That will be a best of five series, part of the Riptide Cup. Be seeing that match very soon here as for now we're gonna get a uh, Philly to join us we'll chat with them a little bit we'll end the stream for a little bit we'll come back in with that matchup for RLSS later but for now joining us here is Philly welcome in Philly uh, I know again you're not on the roster for the season but still pretty fun show match there and uh, what a goal to end it that was a very very fun way to end that series yeah, no, that was um, that was a good match. Those guys are a really good team. Yeah, I mean, even so, kind of, it feels a little bit nostalgic in a way. You you won on this team in the past. You won the Black Line, uh, Black uh, Lotus Fall Open, you know, with, uh, Ultimate Cup with these guys as well. So, yeah. how does it feel to be teammates with them once again? How does it feel to kind of, you know, return back to Team Evo Academy, even though you're not on that team anymore? Uh, it feels great. I mean, I've known those guys for a while. Um, obviously, really good friends of mine. Um, me stoic uh risky even seth we all have really good chem and um it feels great it does and i mean I'm, again i'm happy to see you on the stream again it's been a very long time but again you mentioned how you know og abject being that opponent it felt like games four game five they really brought that pressure what was it about game four and game five that made it so much tougher for you guys to get those wins um you know game four i think we kind of let our guard down a little bit um, we were playing super confident during that whole series, and Game 4 uh, didn't really go our way. They upped their pressure a lot, they had a guy demoing a lot more, and um, this wasn't the main reason, but on top of that, Stoic was lagging a little bit, so I will just put that out there. But at the same time, they upped their pressure, um, they had a guy I think had four demos that game, so they played really, really well during that fourth game. They really stepped it up. Ultimate, I'll bet again, ultimately, you guys... I will hit that series and, uh, you know, take me a moment for a moment that the, the, that kind of comeback. It was one that came very late for you guys in that fifth game, but that, that, that goal to end it was great, but just the moments that leading up to it were incredible in its own right. So just tell me kind of what it was like, that comeback, kind of the momentum kind of falling aside. It, it must have been an amazing thing to know that you guys kind of got your groove back with you guys. Yeah, um, you know, we went down two, and right before the kickoff, I was just telling us, come on, guys, regain. We got this. Um, we know what we can do when we're playing at our best and when we're playing confident. So we stepped up the pressure, we stepped up the confidence. Um, we made sure to keep the comms up and uh, to keep that pressure that we had during those first three games. I think what really brought us success was uh, just keeping up the pressure and making sure we stayed composed, especially on defense, because um, that is one of our big uh, one of our big downfalls. So basically just told us to stay composed and uh we were able to come back to get that one and what a uh, again what a performance though congrats on your win there i know it's only a show match but still you know it's it's a, it's a great feeling nonetheless Con again congrats on your win there Philly. but before you go is there any last things you want to say any final messages to the people watching here uh before we'll end off this interview um i just want to say shout out to the other team put up a really good fight shout out to all the viewers Shout out to all the supporters. If you aren't following Sporty, follow him. He's an amazing <laughs> that's, caster. That's my job, my guy. <laughs> that's hey, my job. And, and of course, shout out to my teammates. Shout out Seth, North, Stoic, Risky, Lucky, all those guys. My homies, love them. And uh, again, appreciate all the support. And yeah, thanks so much for joining, Philly. Congrats on your course. win there. And hopefully we'll see you again you. soon. On, uh, what team are you on for Evo? Evo, what's it called again? Um, Rogues, I believe. Yep, Evo uh, Rogue. Evo Rogue. Hopefully we'll 
see you uh, and that team in the stream soon. But for now, thanks so much for joining. Have an amazing rest of your night. Of course. Thank you. That was uh, Philly there of Team Evo. I've been in to say hi again. A great start to the night. We're going to get a little raid going, but mind her when we come back. Uh, later tonight, it will be Hunnix Panda and next to New Nomads. But for now, again, we'll, we'll, we'll end the stream off for here. We'll be back soon, though. So, you know, keep paying attention to Twitter. It's pretty CRL for more updates on that next that last match of the night. For now, though, take care. I'll see you very, very soon.